going on? <clears throat> Sitting down here in Arcadia, Louisiana. Chicken house, chicken plant, fixing up. <clears throat> we gonna load up and head to Kent, Washington. Maybe all the damn weather be gone by the time I get up there. Or at least it'll be at least you'll be taking a break anyway. Yeah, I got home uh, Tuesday evening. You know, that last trailer I had, the alternator went out on my way to Florida. <laughs> well, I got uh, I got back from Florida, got down there to the yard, and dropped that trailer. And I picked up a new one because the one I dropped down there that I didn't, that I was hoping I'd get back, I didn't see it sitting down there nowhere, so I figured somebody got it. <clears throat> but yeah, I dropped, dropped that trailer and picked up another one and got to the house. And yesterday morning, my boss man texted me. <laughs> he said, man, that, that trailer you, you picked up, the alternator's gone, uh, out on it too <laughs> and you know, he, uh, I asked him if you want me to bring it back down to the yard or or what you know I didn't know if you want me to bring it back down there or just we're going to just stop and get it fixed but he told me just bring it on back down to the yard and he was a busy He's apologizing to me and everything, but it don't matter to me. I go, I, you know, I, I, I do live uh, about 117 miles from the yard, but it don't matter to me. I mean, that, that's fine. Hell, my wife rode with me down there to pick it up, and, and when we got back, we went to Sam's Club and got some stuff for the truck and everything, and and it actually worked out real good because. Uh, the trailer I wanted back is the one I got now. It was sitting down there on the yard. So it worked out just fine for me. I like this trailer here. It's, it's a newer trailer. And pulls good. It don't pull crooked. I mean, none of our trailers really pull crooked, but that one I had with the bulged out sides on each side got on my nerves. I hate looking down there and seeing that. It's like when I was on a flatbed. You know, you don't get that tarp real, you know, tight enough and a bulge out back there in the back. I had tarps do that when I first started doing flatbed. But then I figured out ways to keep them from doing that. So, I hate looking back here and seeing them bulges. But yeah, I'm down here at, uh, I don't even know what the name of this place is. Uh, House of Rafer Farms. Yeah. Got to run the unit 22 degrees continuous. Or it says continue. But to save fuel, probably gonna run on start and stop. Well, yeah, I don't know, I might. I mean, these places want these units run on certain things for a reason. So I might just leave it on uh, continuous. I mean, this unit here, on continuous at 34 degrees. I mean, it's on 22 degrees now, but uh, I know continuous on 34 degrees. I can go from uh, down here somewhere, you know, all the way up to Washington, and not have to fill it up at one time. 
so it don't use a lot of fuel. I have pulled units up there that I had to fill up twice before I got up there. Set on the same temperature. It's a tight ass little place. Uh, they ain't, it don't look like there's but four docks, but they got two over here and two over there on that side. That's why I'm sitting here where I'm at. I'm backed up beside this fuel tank here. Because they wouldn't know where the place no other no other place to park. That way I can just pull straight out and kind of curve over that way and just back right up. Man, it always sucks to leave out. the day you leave. Now now I'm fine, but I know yesterday when I left the house I started missing the wife and kids and that first day when you leave it's gonna suck. It's always gonna suck. <laughs> but if I can just get out and get away from the house and get out of the state I'll be alright. That first day just just sucks. But our sinus has been acting up for a hundred years. But all right. I'll let y'all, I'll get back with y'all probably after a while sometime when I get out of here and get on over into Texas or something. But y'all stay safe and uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. Talk to you later.